types of prosthetics that are out there um, was a real eye-opening experience to me. And even after seeing um, amputees come to my hospital and walk in and look so natural, I really couldn't understand that how hard it is and how unnatural it is until I had to do it myself. So I have a new appreciation for people with uh, amputations and, and difficulty with their limbs that I had never had before and, and all sorts of knowledge of, on the topic of prosthetics. Are you in touch with other of the amputees from the Boston Marathon bomb? Yes, I am. Tell us about that. Um, we're a pretty tight-knit group. There are 16 of us all together, and the youngest uh, of us just got her running leg, uh, Jane. And um, we get together sometimes in you know, more formalized settings for events and, and that sort of thing. Um, but we also, some of us will get together for dinner or um, coffee. We see each other at Spalding for the pool therapy that I told you about. So we, um, we keep in touch. We give each other tips. We try to help each other when, you know, not everybody's, not everybody is, it sounds funny to say, but lucky enough to only have a left amputation below the knee. Um, some people lost legs above the knee, which is much more difficult. And some people have are struggling with the loss of both legs. So um, we're, we're all doing, you know, progressing, but um, not everyone's uh, been able to progress as quickly. I remember at Spalding you said that you weren't paying attention to all of the to-do surrounding the bombing and the arrests and the... Every, all the weirdness that went on. How about now? Do you pay any attention to that st stuff? Um, I really, I probably pay a little bit more attention than I did when I was in the hospital, um, just because it's kind of hard to, hard, harder to avoid. Um, but to be honest, until I just read the book, The Long Mile Home, which was um, written by reporters from the Boston Globe, uh, I didn't know anything about the details, mm. and so I just learned them for the first time a couple of weeks ago, um, and I, I said to one of my friends, you know, there was a carjacking, and he, he said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Heather. There was a lot. Everybody there else was knows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was kind of hard to, to learn all of that. I think it's details that I needed to know, but I'm glad that it took a whole year to kind of get exposed to them, and um, you know, it's, it's kind of a difficult thing to process. That worked for you? Yeah. Yeah. Very shortly after I left the hospital, I came here to see Burke, and he was great. Um, he had worked with amputees in the past, so he was familiar with what was going on with me. Um, he was very sensitive to the fact that this was all new and um, that it was, you know, a pretty big deal in the, the media at the time, so a lot of people knew about it. So he took me... Um, into a private room for a while so I could kind of get used to things on my own and then once I was ready we came out into the, the area where all the other patients are. And your mom would come with you, remember? My mom would have to drive me <laughs> because I couldn't drive yet. Uh, so she'd wait outside uh, in the waiting area for me. And um, yeah, I, I um, progressed and started doing more advanced uh, types of activities as time went on. I got to know some of the patients here and we, we talk. Um, you know, a lot of them knew who had recognized me from living here on the island. And uh, we, we got me back up and, and literally running. <laughs> and, uh, and running, tell us about that. Um, I have a running leg. It was donated to me by the Challenged Athletes Foundation. And um, I started using it in October. And it's been a little slow going. It is not easy. It's uh, a leg that looks like a blade leg. Um, okay. So it's it's... I think it's tough for me in two respects. The physical aspect, you yeah, know, looks. being that my body isn't used to pounding on, on that area, or it's not the area that is meant to hold weight isn't there anymore. Um, so that's tough. And then, you know, emotionally it's hard because I typically keep my leg covered up, and if people don't know me, they don't. They usually don't know I have a prosthetic leg, but there is no hiding that leg. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it, I'll... It's sometimes difficult to deal with the stares and, and mm. comments that I can see people making when I wear it. Um, the running light. The running light, yeah. yeah. Um, and driving? Oh, go ahead. Uh, I have been running. I, I really like to um, jump into the end of the race with Erin Chatham. Um, 
at the Boston Marathon. So I've asked the BAA. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm practicing as if I will. I really like to finish finish the marathon with her. I think they said they weren't going to allow that this year, but for you, what? They might make an exception. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on it. Good. <laughs> Good. And and driving? You're driving? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I've always been able to drive because I have my mm. right leg. Yeah. Um, but initially I was on medication that didn't allow me to ah. drive. And if I got out of the car, I had no place to get, no way to get where I was going. <laughs> so.